Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. We got plenty of Apple iPhone 12. Here is the few changes news. This week Apple including some unwanted surprises. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So this week we got a few more leaks on the Apple iPhone 12, but unfortunately most of it is can be considered bad news. The iPhone 12 may cost more than we thought the camera layout might be completely different than we expected some more bad information on its release before it gets started though. Please like the video. What phone are you watching with now the first story of the day, and it may be good or bad depending on how you look at it, but Apple Ico Cormier is taken to Twitter to advise the Apple iPhone 12 price we've been hoping for could actually all be wrong. First he says that the standard 5.4-inch iPhone 12 the 5G model is to start at $699 for the 64GB, $749 for the 128 and $849 for the 256GB version. He says the 5G at 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Mac $99 for 64GB, $849 for 128 and $949 for 256GB The 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1,049, 428GB, $256 for $1,349 if you want the 512GB. Finally the 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max is apparently starting at $1,149 for 128GB version 1249, for the 256 1449, if you want the 512GB version, so these prices are much higher than we originally thought, but at the same time we need to remember this has not been confirmed his Twitter account was only created on 3 June, and I have to say I hadn't heard of them until recently took a half to wait and see his accuracy, but I wouldn't worry too much for now. He also advises that the cameras can be different to the renters we've seen the light sensor on the iPhone 12 is can be much smaller than expected. It can be three larger lenses with the light sensor smaller in the bottom right corner. Now I'm being told that this camera information is actually correct. So my advice is can be to disregard for now you have to wait and see some of you may have also seen that John Prosser tweeted a few days ago, say that the iPhone 12 and the new iPads are to be launched in October instead of September. Now this is now unfortunately been confirmed by Apple, as well look on my street, who is Apple's chief financial officer stated, despite the sales of last year's new generation iPhone going on sale in September this year. The company project supplies can be available a few weeks later, now no reason was given for this, but of course it's going to be down to the current outbreak, we've also had 9 to 5 Mac, forcing the iOS simulator to run at a resolution of 960x2079 and iOS 14, and it of course worked perfectly so. This further confirms that the smallest iPhone 12 is can be a 5.4 inch display note the shame I had to deliver mainly bad news today so to trying, and with some good people are saying there's not going to be an in display fingerprint scanner, but I've been told that there will be also. As I said in my previous video I would look into the disabled 120 years display, and it appears that the vast also falls many are claiming that the hardware is can be capable of 120 Hz, but applicant to disable it, and this just isn't true. I'm being told the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max above can have 120Hz adaptive displays, which can function as expected, is now expected that all four models of the launch on the first or the second week of October. We pretty much have all of the details for all of the models will run through each model specs design and price and so it is very likely to be true, but given the increased efficiency in the 814 battery life. Still, it should not be a problem. So not to the upgrades the iPhone 12 is coming with improved cameras that was always to be expected last week, I told you guys in the periscope lens is not happening, is that and save it for next year's iPhone. This is iPhone 12 we still get some upgrades, Michiko advises that Apple moving to you, Samco and Sunny optical lenses, and they're introducing a voice, Coil Motors voice, and this is an improved stabilization that uses magnets instead of the improved the autofocus as well. We had news of improved speeches in the iPhone 12 which again. It was always likely, and this news comes from everything, Apple Pro and Max wing back. We don't get to see the speaker itself. We can in fact. They seem to have better performance, especially with the lower frequencies they provided, a clip of the iPhone 12 speaker playing at 50% volume will go ahead and listen to that now we will see what news of Gorilla Glass Victors, which is an exciting new strength in class. This will help protect your device's display many blogs, and now citing at this, is part of the iPhone 12 design, but I'm being told that it's not probably the iPhone 12 is not. 
adopting this new technology would likely get have to wait for the iPhone 13 finally, with some reports from Microtech are now these are based on quotes from multiple Chinese suppliers, and the saying the 5G iPhones will be postponed until November the launch, will still be in September as expected, and this can be for all four models for we normally, see the release a couple of weeks after Microtech are advising that the LT iPhone 12, can go on sale in mid-October of salt. For now, but as soon as I get some more information, and update you guys right away. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have today with all four models, launching on the second week of September. It's not going to be long until Apple confirm things themselves. We've already had pretty much the full specs, for all four models to quickly run through that now, to start with with the, it looks ideal for one-handed use, doesn't it? We got the same impression last year when Max Redberg, a Swedish graphic designer, created a concept illustration of how the new 5.4 inches size might look. The Mikado Kara report linked above also supports the existence of the new sizes. The site predicted some while ago that iPhones in 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches sizes would be launched in late 2020. The death of lightning it's a recurrent rumor, but will 2020 be the year Apple finally gives in and replaces its proprietary lightning port with USB-C, as it did on it not, since that was a special case fast data transfers to and from cameras being a requirement of many digital creatives. And owners of lightning-based headphones and other accessories would be pretty ticked off and this is just can record the iPhone 12, is a 5.4-inch iPhone with lets to progress in the display, from Samsung is important to note straight, off the bat this to progress no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless, it can be an owner display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth, with a have been rumors of almost having a 120Hz displays. Unfortunately, it appears that this model is only can be 60Hz, is can be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with the choice of 128 or 256 storage, it's got an Armenian frame, and of course, is the Apple 814 Bionic chip with 5G support the iPhone 12, is coming with Joe cameras on the ray, and it will, of course, be shipping with iOS 14 for those that want the 4 gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching the price of $649, if you want to upgrade it to the 256 gig iPhone 12, and it's 750 50 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max the iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet display, this again is a Super Retina, it did not pass the quality assurance test it comes with a resolution of 2532, what by 1170. This gives us a 460 pixels per inch and again. It has an 8 bit color depth get 4 gigs, of RAM choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course the iPhone 12 Max, is powered by the 14 Bionic chip is. Armenian frame 5G connectivity uses actual camera setup on the rare for those that want the 128GB iPhone 12 Max is going to be launching, at a price of $749 for those that want the 256 version, that in the price rises it to $849. Next up the iPhone 12 Pro, also has a 6.1 inch, display with actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, we do have an improved display in specs, the iPhone 12 Pro 61 inch Super Retina, owner display with promotion and 10 bit color depth display, is manufactured by Samsung, and has a resolution of 2532x1170, giving us 460 pixels open unconfirmed and there are few people, saying this may not happen, the iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and a choice of 128, 200 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 14 Bionic chip, set the iPhone 12 Pro, is 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with the lighter sense of adapters, for the 128 gigs, iPhone 12 Pro it can be $999, for the 256 it's 1099, the 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch outlet display Again this is Super Retina display and hopefully with promotion get a 10 bit color depth and of course it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1284 This gives us 458 pixels per inch Again, we expect and hope it's can be a 120Hz promotion display, but there are few 28 256 05 12 internal storage has got a stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro, we get three cameras in the rear, along with the lighter sensor, for those who want the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro Max, is can the launch at a price of $1099, if you have the 256 version. 
It's $1199 and for those that want the most expensive in the range, the 512 iPhone 12 Pro Max can be launching at a whopping $1399, and what is, of course, important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser, is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of them wrong. Recently he also provided this very early on. So there is a chance that things could change, but personally I think that there at least can be very close to what we see overwrote, the Apple iPhone 12 is proving to be a great range of iPhones that many of you guys looking forward to is great. We've got all of this in this to have some surprises that launch while there may be delays in the release date the launch is expected to be on time, and that will, of course be 8 September this year, given the current outbreak it's likely that it's again going to be an online-only launch event, similar to the last worldwide developer conference as always, though, if any, more information comes to light. I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts, in the comments was excited for the iPhone 12 launch, and you think we'll get a 120Hz display, enabled in the software. Well have been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you.